Hey everybody, Will from Studio Zombie 3D here. Today, we're going to take a look at the unboxing and setup of the brand new Anycubic Photon M3 Max SLA printer. This is the largest in the new Photon M3 line, and this thing really is massive. Let's get right into the unboxing. The first thing you're going to notice once you get out of the box is that this thing comes shipped with an aluminum frame. You're going to have to remove the eight screws and then remove the frame before you can remove the foam and get the printer out. All right. Once we have the screws out, we can get rid of the frame. Next thing we're going to do is get it out of the way and start removing the foam. One thing about Anycubic is they really like to pack their printers nice and secure. Nothing moves around in the package, which is a nice touch. Once we have the top foam rings removed, we can remove the front panel of the printer. Then we can get to the inside where everything is stored. Alright, here we have the front panel of the Anycubic Photon M3 Max. This is a really big cover. Once we have the panels out of the way, we can get to the inside. Here we have the leveling paper and an extra screen protector. Next, we have the back panel of the printer. You're going to secure this once we get everything removed from the printer here. Alright, here we have the bottle holder for the automatic refill that you attach to the back of the printer. Next, we have the lid that goes on the 1 kg Anycubic bottle for the auto refill. Next thing we're going to pull out is the build platform. This thing is massive and it is heavy. It's also laser etched, just like the M3 and the M3 Plus. The next thing we're going to remove is the resin vat. This thing is massive as well. To the fill line it takes approximately 500 mils of resin. And then you can easily have another 500 mil added, adding up to a kilogram with the autofill once you start your printing. Next thing we can do is remove this foam. We'll get this out of the way and get the printer out of the base. Here we have also the power supply. Alright, next we're going to cut the zip ties holding the printer down into the bottom foam piece. We're going to get those out of the way and then carefully remove the cardboard that's sitting on top of the print platform. Now we can pull the printer base out of the foam and get it out of the way so we can continue to set up the printer. Alright, we have everything laid out. First thing we have here is our assembly instruction manual. The next thing we have is a package with a couple of masks and some filters for filtering your resin after your print. Next up we have a package with uh, three or four pairs of gloves. Next we have the scraper for removing the print from the build platform. You also get a little plastic scraper which I personally don't use with any of my SLA printers. We have the auto refill cap with the tubes and the electronics for the auto refill system.
Next, we have the two screws for attaching our resin vat to the printer. Our standard USB drive with our test printer and manuals on it. Here are the tubes for the auto refill system. And these are the screws for attaching the back panel cover and some extra screws for your vat. Next we have a packet with cleaning supplies for installing our screen protector. We have your standard power brick. Next we have a few allen wrenches for installing the back panel and for leveling our build plate. And here's the whole bottle holder that goes onto the back of the printer that holds the bottle for the auto refill system. Next, we have our massive resin vat. One interesting thing about the M3 Max is that they have a matte FEP on it. You can't really see through it. And it has a kind of a rough texture to it. It's a really interesting idea for a FEP. And next we have our leveling sheet and our extra screen protector for the LCD. And then finally, our massive build plate. It's laser etched, just like the rest of the M3 series, which also helps your prints to stick to the build platform. Alright, next thing we're going to do is install the screws on the back panel of the printer. Once we have the back cover installed, we can go ahead and install the bottle holder on the back of the printer which holds the bottle for the auto refill system. This is pretty easy, there's just three screws here. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is install the tubes onto the auto fill lid. Be sure to put the black tube on the center nozzle and then the clear tube on the outer. The outer nozzle pumps air into the bottle and the resin flows through the black tube to the printer. Next thing we're going to do is install the hoses onto the autofill system itself. The clear tube goes onto the base unit itself where the air pump is and the black tube goes onto the little nozzle that pours into the vat. Make sure they're tight and secure. Now we're getting close to being done. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to raise the frame that holds the build platform so we can install it. Be sure to raise it a good amount. The next thing we're going to do is remove the protective covering on the LCD itself. Once we have this removed, the next thing we're going to do is install the build platform. Loosen the knob enough for the bed to slide on. Make sure you secure it good and tight once you have it installed. And then the next thing we're going to do is move on to leveling the platform itself. Next thing we're going to do is loosen all the four screws on the build platform so it can move freely. 
Then we can level the platform using the piece of paper supplied in the box. Now, go into the Move Z menu and hit the Home button. The bed will lower into the home position. Once it has settled, apply a little bit of pressure and tighten the four screws. Once you have completed that, we're going to hit the Z equals zero button, hit enter, and enter again. The build platform will rise up a little bit. All right. Remove the paper, go back into the Move Z menu, hit 10 millimeters, and we're going to move the build platform up enough so we can install the resin vat. Once we have the build platform out of the way, we're going to go ahead and install the vat. Remove the protective coating on the back of the vat itself. And here we are. Here's the mat vat that Anycubic is using for the M3 Max. Carefully slide the vat in, being careful not to damage the autofill system. The vat itself has four legs on the bottom that will sit into four holes on the platform of the printer. Once you have it situated, install the two screws and tighten them down. Now, once the vat is secured in place, the next step is to basically load a print and test the printer. Here we are, all ready to go. We'll just put the cover back on and we are finished. Alright, that's it. That was our quick setup and unboxing of the Anycubic M3 Max SLA printer. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Also check out the Instagram to see what's going on with the studio currently. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you very soon in the next video.